I am a freelance artist and from time to time I get commission works. And what that entails is someone would come to me, request a drawing, I draw it, and I get compensated for it. I get paid. But sometimes I don't get paid because I get ghosted and the people who intended to pay me just don't. So let's get into that story. I have three drawings that I currently have that have not been paid for, but they've the intent was they were going to be bought, but they weren't. Okay, so that's an issue. And I'm trying to figure out as an artist how to go about that. And here is how I live and how I learn. So the first one is a drawing of Nipsey Hussle. Very beautiful drawing. You know, I took my time and I've actually made a video about that. It's one of my older ones, but we are learning out here. <laughs> so I did a video and the guy was like, hey, if you draw Nipsey Hussle, I'd buy it. I'm like, all right, challenge accepted. So I took the challenge and I got back to with him. I messaged him, I'm like, I'm done. And I didn't hear from him. So I got back with him again. And then he's like, oh, there were some things going on. So I wasn't able, I'm, I won't be able to pay you for the drawing. And I'm like, all right, well, whenever things cool down, the drawing is here. If you want to buy it, he's like, all right, bet. It hasn't come forward for it yet. And I think I feel like I've lost contact with him, but that one was cool because it's a, a portrait of Nipsey Hussle. Who wouldn't want that in their portfolio? So I wasn't extremely just like upset because I know I can put it in galleries. I know someone else would happily buy it. And if you want, drawing is available because it's 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 not been sold. So if you want to buy it, you can you can you can buy it. <clears throat> but anyway, so the second one uh, I've been working on is this one. This one is okay. This one um this one hit me. I've been working on this drawing. I worked on it and it's of this guy that I met at a um, expo and he raved. He was like, oh yeah, I want a drawing done. He's like, all right, here's my number. You know, I, I, I love your art. You, your work is amazing. We're going to get this done. I'm like, bet. So I um, kept in contact with him the whole way doing this drawing. And this was even during a time where I think I was in school. So like, there was a lot going on, but I still took time out to draw his drawing. And um, so let's say it was due like December 1st or whatever. And I'm like, all right, well, I've been you know busy. Can I have till December the 7th? He's like, oh yeah, that's no problem. He's like, whenever it's done, I got you, I got you. He's like, what's your cash app and all that? I gave it to him. And now here it is, December 7th. I don't hear from him and then a week later I don't I you know I'm contacting him and so I don't I, I'm completely ghosted by this guy and I'm like all right so what is happening months go by I don't hear from him I don't see him on Instagram and things like that and then finally I see him pop on Instagram I'm like all right mm -mm -mm. I'm messaging this guy he's like oh well there was some things family issues and I'm still kind of grieving um so I'm I'm sorry I won't be able to get the drawing and I was like okay but before that I was really devastated because I stopped drawing completely because I was like I feel like I'm doing this drawing just drawings in general and not too many people were picking them picking them up even you know, like YouTube channel and stuff so everything was just going slow and I was just in my head and I wasn't exercising I just was in a rut I was just sitting at home just watching TV along with like, all right, I got schoolwork to do. But after that, there was nothing much that I felt like I really wanted to do. And a good friend of mine, she was like, she's a director of a nonprofit that I, I worked with her. She's like, just make, just start making videos, even if it's just the raw emotion of how you feel at this point. And I did make a video, but I never released it. And so after that, you know, I'm, I was in school at Prince George's Community College, so I really wasn't doing much drawing anyway. 
I was doing a lot of editing, graphic design, and lots of graphic work that I've actually found a great passion for. But um, I've been doing commissions. It's not like I've just been ghosted by, by everyone. I met a woman at the White House, the sweetest person ever. I just, I had in my heart, I was like, I know she's gonna be genuine. And I was, and thank God that I did, you know, keep in contact with her, contact all the way. I did this drawing and it was just, it was just a blessing because she was so happy to receive the drawing and I gave it to her, you know, and she paid me. And that's how it was with these other drawings as well. People keep in contact with me and they pay me and then they come back. And that's what I really love when people are like, all right, I exchanged this, I had this exchange with you, I want to do it again. So that one with him, not, I just have his drawing just like in my drawer collecting drawer dust, I guess. But, it, you know, it's not like a, he's just a regular guy. It's not like it's a celebrity or someone that I choose to draw. It's I don't, you know, it's it's so random to just have, you know, I can't like sell it or put it in gallery because they're going to be like, what's this? And if if I saw that in a gallery, I'm like, what's this for? It's, what is it? It's not giving. But I mean, it's a beautiful drawing and I really like what I've done with it, but it's so specific to him. Like he needs to get it. He needs to get out of my drawer. Okay. That's, that's just what I'm saying. But, um, and this last drawing that I have, it's actually... Where's there it is? Look, let's see. Probably it's it's there. But I won competitions for it. You know, I put it in a gallery. Was it meant to be there? No, because it was supposed to be bought. But I lost contact with them. And I actually know this guy. And this one, I really hope he's okay. Because no Instagram, no text message, he doesn't answer his he doesn't respond to emails because that's like him. I don't know where he is. And this one I'm not too sad about either because people love this drawing. Like, look at it. It's beautiful. I can put this in gallery. Someone can sell this. It has symbolism. Like black pride. Black boy joy. <laughs> it's just giving. Like this drawing... So I'm okay with it not being sold because I'll keep it myself or I know someone else would buy it. But uh, I did lose contact with them. That's kind of what happens. So like I said, I live and I learn so I know next time, get a down deposit. So that way I get paid either way. Because when you're doing commission works, it's so specific to the person. If someone commissions me to draw their grandmother, what am I gonna do with that? You know, you have, you have to pay. But uh, that's the story of how I got ghosted. Thanks for watching. Till next time.